what is going on welcome back to the channel back out in the garage working on the frame again we've got another grinding cutting welding grinding painting project this time transmission cross member um, there currently is a spot for the cross member to go but in the early g body frames they had a uh, cross member that was kind of like a, a hockey stick shape so the pads are offset the mid to later year in the uh, 80s ones they were almost straight across um, they're offset just a little bit but pr pretty much straight across so what i have in my car was one that was straight across so i have a cross member for that car but this frame doesn't have a landing spot for the cross member to go on because they're too offset uh, from the factory for the early trans so what I have going on is I have a Iceman cross member that I bought, God, 15 years ago at least, maybe maybe 18 years ago. It's I've had it for a long time. I actually got this on a group buy for his first um, his first run of these things, so it was quite a while ago. Uh, it was still is powder coated red. Um, I'm not sure why I got it red. I don't really like it. So I painted it black some number of years ago. It's going to need some more paint because uh, it's been moved around quite a bit. But anyway, this is a dual exhaust cross member. Um, looks, and I'm pretty sure it's a similar uh, reproduction of the G-Force cross members, which uh, I think Jegs now um, copies those. Uh, anyway, he also sells this extension piece. So what this does is it would allow you to bolt this into the frame and then bolt the cross member to this and uh, that would be all well and good except for my frame is boxed so I cannot get this inside of there anymore so what I plan on doing is using this as my uh, reference template and getting a gauge of where it needs to be I'll probably actually bolt it up and then uh, I'll know where this needs to be and I can mark it on the frame where the end of this should be. So then I can just lop a section of this off that was to be used before uh, and then I'll just be able to uh, weld it right onto the, the plate here and uh, hopefully just pull the cross member up. Um, but before I do that, I want to get the frame level. So I am going to put jack stands under the front. There's already jack stands under the rear. I'm going to make it level uh, as I, much as I can, I guess, uh, side to side, front to back. And then I'm going to actually bolt the cross member to the uh, transmission and to the one side where I already can bolt it on, level that, and then I should be able to bolt the, um, the piece I cut off onto the other side and use that to tack weld onto the frame. And then from there, I can disassemble everything, do finish weld, uh, and then some paint, and hopefully that's it. Um, not positive that's how it's going to go, but that's how I want it to go. So I guess we'll see what happens. We'll get started right now. All right, I lowered the jack stands in the back, put the two jack stands up front. This is front to back. It's uh, weighted, you know, it's a little down in the front, but uh, not super concerned with the front to back as long as they're good on side to side, which they were. And uh, you can see that here. It's uh, nice and level. So. Now that we got that, we know that the middle of the frame, and also I did on the rear, um, everything is square side to side. I can lay this across here, and we can see it's not perfect, but it's within the bubble. So I'm pretty happy with that for uh, being a 30-something-year-old frame. All right, so next thing up is we're going to uh, get that cross member bolted in uh, to the bottom of the trans and to that side of the frame. All right, and here's what I was talking about with the frame. You can see the extension here uh, goes all the way back. The cross member bolts onto there. 
comes across, bolts to the bottom of the trans. But on here, you can see the front of it is up there. Where on the, this car, the uh, mount is somewhere uh, right in here. So uh, we need to make this more parallel. So we're just gonna take essentially that box and we're gonna cut the section off and we're gonna weld it in. It'll probably land you know, somewhere right in here. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do that because of the, the angle that the uh, plate is on. We obviously don't want it cockeyed, so I'll probably have to cut the box on an angle so I can weld it. Um, probably could cut a hole in this, but I don't think that's the appropriate measure for me. So we're just going to go and try to weld it to the face of this. All right, so what we got going on, I think I got it figured out. Got the trans mount bolted on, and I got it bolted to the frame in the factory location over here. I squared up this edge, used two bolts. You can see they're slotted. They're almost at the end here. Um, and then what I did over here was I put a bolt in this factory hole in the front, and then I put two bolts through the cross member here and then I leveled it, which you can see is here. So this with this and that should square it left to right, um, or front to back, I should say. And then obviously I used uh, the jack under the trans itself to raise and lower to get it level. I also measured uh, the distance from the bottom of this, which is the bottom of the frame, to the bottom of the uh, new cross member uh, piece, which is uh, inch and three quarter. So then what I did is I measured from the bottom of the frame here to the bottom side of this piece, and it was now an inch and three quarter. So I think I got it pretty square. Uh, it looks like it's uh, probably going to work. Um, obviously, this might look off to you it's on an angle because this will eventually be underneath here um, but we're measuring off of this piece not this so we should be good um, so next step is I'm going to transfer or scribe onto here where it needs to be um, I'm gonna figure out how much I'm gonna cut probably uh, probably about that much or so yeah probably somewhere around there and once I lop this off I'll be able to uh, transfer, I'll leave everything where it's at. I'll move these bolts to this so I can move it in and allow me to scribe onto here where it needs to be. Then I can take this down and weld that in. At least that's the plan. <laughs> 